has been a spectacular year to observe the northern lights. Right now we're in a period known as solar maximum. KCAL climatologist Marina Jurica went 200 miles above the Arctic Circle researching how this period of time could be speeding up the clock on Arctic melting. Marina, welcome and tell us about your trip to Norway. Well, it was absolutely phenomenal and that's right, Sheba and Rachel. Everyone knows the Arctic is melting at alarming rates, but I went all the way to Norway on a field study to see how natural phenomenon could be interacting with human-driven climate change. The Arctic sun has long since dipped below the horizon, plunging the world into 24 hours of darkness. A frigid wind howls across the ice, cutting through even the thickest layers of my insulated gear. The temperature hovers well below freezing, the cold so intense that each breath crystallizes in the air. Taking my glove off, braving the elements for even the shortest field study is painful. Welcome to Norway. This region stretching across northern Norway is a vital indicator of the health of our planet. Changes in Arctic weather such as warmer winters as well as unstable atmospheric conditions are already evident. As an atmospheric scientist, I feel that the Arctic is at the front line of these changes. Temperatures here are rising four times faster than the global average. We do see a lot of change in the climate up here. So a year ago, we had a new uh, weather report that said that our winters in Troms are getting 30 days shorter than they were before. We used to have constant snow from November until April and now the snow doesn't really stick on the ground until it's January. One of the most visible signs of change is in the wildlife. Warmer waters are shifting migration patterns, bringing more whales like humpbacks and orcas further north. We had a once in a lifetime view of hundreds of orcas in what is known as a superpod. So from 2017, the herring that used to live in the fjords around Tromsø migrated to the area of Charvey. And now we have billions of these fish here in Charvey. So all the whales follow after and just try to uh, eat as much as they can to feed before their long migrations. Oh, this is a beautiful white one. We notice that this is very challenging for the plants and animals of our region. For example, with the reindeer, they need stable snow to be able to feed. And whenever it's starting to freeze, we get these layers of ice in between the snow and then they can't dig down anymore. So the reindeers have to have had a lot of supplements in their food because they can't get to the food that they used to have. I start out the day by looking at the weather forecast. The good news about this area is that there are so many microclimates, so it's easier to find a clear spot that is nearby. Once our instruments are in place, we are ready to wait and observe. In the bitter cold, a nice fire and hot stew is essential to pass the many hours we will be outside. Tromso lies at 69 degrees north, which is right in the middle of the Aurora Oval, a ring-shaped zone that is around the geomagnetic poles, which makes it very likely that you'll get to see the Aurora Borealis. The Aurora is the visual representation of a solar storm. We are in a time of solar maximum, which is a period of heightened activity in the sun cycle. In our research, we found that increased solar activity has the potential to amplify warming trends. The concern is that human-driven climate change is already so pronounced that natural variations like solar cycles may intensify extreme weather patterns rather than counteract them. By studying the Aurora above the Arctic Circle, we can see those patterns develop. You can see all over the world. You can see the warm places getting even hotter. You can see that our winters are getting much more harsh than before. And even though maybe some places aren't as big affected as other places. It starts everywhere, so everybody contributes to the climate change. The Arctic warming isn't a local issue, it's a global one. It affects ocean currents, weather systems, and even the air that we breathe. But there is hope. Scientists, policymakers, and communities can come together for our shared future. In Norway, I'm Marina Jurica, KCAL News.
Wow, Marina. That uh, is so beautiful breathtaking. and breathtaking. It mm -hmm. is devastating to hear, though, the condition it's in. But I love that you ended saying that there is hope. So things can still change. There really is. And we just need to find that fine balance moving forward, right? If we make the changes that are necessary now, then we can move forward. Mm -hmm. It is about adaptation at this mm -hmm. point, right? Mm -hmm. So we mm -hmm. need to adapt. We know that the climate is going to change irregardless. Mm -hmm. And so as we move forward, if we adapt to it, we can help slow it down and give us time to be able to acclimate to these changes. And that's what's the key. So my field research out there was amazing. It was cold. Yeah, yeah. yeah you said that many times. <laughs> it was very, very cold. But uh, we were able to get all the research done that we wanted to. And I can't wait to head back there so that we can see in a year how much has changed. Great. One of the most striking things we were talking about during the piece was how the reindeer, you guys had to feed them so that they, they can get the nutrients they need. Right, they can't get down where they used to dig below because wow. the ice layers are so thick now. Mm -hmm. And so because of that, and then it's like that remelt, melt, remelt, right. melt. So because of that cycle, we have to actually get out there wherever we can and we'll bring fish pellets to them with the, all those nutrients that they used to be able to get into the pellets and give them to them. So oh, it was, that was uh, really cool. It was, it was. All right, well, next time you go, bring me back a reindeer. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll do my best. I'll fly on the reindeer. There I'll you go. That's work. <laughs> We're in a beautiful work. Thank you Thank so much you for sharing so that with us.